and welcome to this week's art lesson. Now today we're going to be learning about an artist called Victor Vasali and Victor Vasali was regarded as the grandfather of op art and op art is short for optical art for optical illusions and if you're in year one and you're learning about Bridget Riley then you might have heard me say about optical illusions and that essentially often in a still painting there are shapes that look like they're coming towards you or going further away and sometimes they look like they're warping or moving as well so they're really quite cool and we're going to attempt to make our own today and to do this we're going to need a pot of water, our paintbrush, our watercolour paint, scissors, pencil and plain paper. Now obviously it's good to have a spare one because sometimes it just takes a few to practice. Okay, And we're going to begin by just folding out a square because I think that's a better place to start. Let's first make our paper into a square. Make sure you have your scissors ready. Take one corner of your paper and fold it without pressing down so it touches the other side of the paper and looks like a triangle. Now hold the corner with your hand. You see that rectangle on the side? We're going to cut that off. Now let go and you should have a square. It doesn't need to be perfect. Now to make our optical illusion. Starting from the outside and working your way in, draw a square. Then again, and again, and again, and again. Keep going until your squares can't get any smaller. It's okay to take your time. Finally, join up your corners. Is your optical illusion coming towards or going away from you? Pick one colour for each triangle. Layer by layer, paint in the direction of the lines. Okay, so I've stopped mine there. Now obviously I could add some more patterns and I could start to add shapes and things within these shapes if I wanted to. And as I was doing it I was thinking, is it a pyramid coming towards me or a never-ending corridor that I can't quite see the end of? And it reminded me a bit of some of the perspective drawings that we've done before, which is quite interesting I think. And if you enjoyed that and you would like some more ideas, here are three more of Victor Vasali's paintings. And as always, have a wonderful week and I will see you all soon. Goodbye.